My name is Gavin Harrison, I'm 32. I'm a mixture of different things. I, I, I do portrait photography, but that's with professional equipment. Uh, I love street photography with my iPhone. Um, and yeah, my kind of passion for it in a way is capturing things that I don't think are gonna last that long. And that's what's great using the iPhone for because you've got an instance to take a photo and edit it, email it, blog about it, do whatever you can do in the space of a minute. And uh, I love that form of instant communication. I think apps are really uh, helpful in taking a shot that you wouldn't normally take if you didn't know the apps. So I've got quite a few apps on my iPhone that have specific kind of skills and, and, and uh, styles that other apps don't do. A lot of them kind of do the same thing like brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, but some of them have specific things that I look at a, an image and I think, oh, that could be good on this app. We're in the South Kensington Tunnels and uh, we've got uh, a few buskers down there. And uh, this guy in particular was, uh, was really good, played some good, good tunes and I want to take his photo. So the thing about him was there's so many people down there and no one was giving him any money. It was uh, obviously some people would have done, but when I was there, there was, everyone was just walking past. They just wanted to get to where they were going. So I thought this would be nice to take a, a photo of that. So with that photo, um, I'll take it through here and, uh, and edit it on a couple of apps. So we'll go with Snapseed, because I've spoken about that a few times. So let's see how we can edit this one. So bring the ambience quite up, bring it quite low down and that tells me in a way she doesn't want anything to do with him it's quite cold it's quite leave me alone get out of my way then I think of things like the bricks at the top here is it too much is it make it too much there so maybe I'll bring it down a little bit here cropping it let's see if I can need it's cropping at all let's see he's got his up in there as well maybe if I just have it come in a bit she's rushing by just bring it that side so we'll crop it there. Straightening, don't really need to straighten it that much, but because we've got a brick wall, it's a great guideline to see how straight the actual photo is. That will do, so 0.49 degrees. It's not bad. Uh, and then we've got other, other little bits here. So some of them I don't usually do, like selective uh, adjust, so I can select a part of the uh, photo. Um, say I wanted to select the floor and I can just spread it out and I can pretty much just do the floor and then I can do things like brightness again, bring the brightness down on the floor and raise it, uh, the contrast again and the saturation, I can make the floor black and white if I wanted to. Um, quite moody, quite dark, but I, I don't really think I need to do anything with that one so I'll just go back there. Uh, details, so sharpening, structure, this is uh, always quite good if you make it really up and you can really see the bricks there, which could be quite fun. Um, again, with this app, we've got different things like vintage drama. Drama makes it come out a little bit again. So there you go, these bricks come out a bit more. Um, and with that, you can uh, make it more colorful, add more saturation in it, filter strength, bring it to 100, take it down to nothing. Um, I like, I think we add a bit more drama into this, it's quite cool. It's about 47%. So I feel like in that app, it's done. I'll uh, save it to my photo library and then open it up in another one to process it a bit further. So this one here, if we want to do depth of field, so we'll open up, this is an app called Big Lens. And this one basically, so go to advanced, and we're going to adjust that. So if, say we want to make her more blurred and have him in focus, zoom in. And we've got the brush selected here, we'll have it in my size. And then you basically just mask her then once you've master, and then again, it's just basically going in a bit closer, doing the final details. So I go to blur, bring the brush size down a bit. Cool, okay, so I've just then you've got an HDR setting up here, which you can turn on, and it brings it out a bit more. When you go back to it again, you can see the difference. Switch it on. I like that now. I mean, the bricks were lighter before, and I said no, but now I think, yeah, it's fine. So save it to camera roll. It looks quite nice. I like the, uh, I like the, I like the look afterwards on here as still quite normal in some places. It brings out the bricks a lot more. Um, blowing out the wood makes her a lot more busier as well. So it has a bit of both really. 
makes it quite light, quite uh, quite cheerful, but at the same time, which is uh, she's quite busy. And uh, it still says quite a lot in the image. I like it. It's uh, yeah, it's a good shot. Mm -hmm.